Please remember why we ride. We ride for those who cannot, who gave the ultimate sacrifice for our freedoms. There's the bike. Oh wow, look at all of them. That's pretty cool. That's a lot this year. That, that is, is a lot. lot. So we got some great gifts here. I see that. Yep, we got gift cards. We have Visa cards. I don't know. Get one. Look, that's breakfast. But I'm live. Please remember why we ride. We ride for those who cannot. Who gave the ultimate sacrifice for our freedoms. Fortunately, we are adding a fourth Dallas Town graduate this year. Gatlin Scott Green and his mother Caroline is here with us. Good morning. First off, I want to take a moment and thank all of the riders, family members, uh, guests, supporters, and everyone that has put this event together uh, to continue to support and participate in the 10th annual Fallen Heroes Ride. And putting a few words together, we remind you, as Dave has already pointed out, that we must never forget our fallen heroes. And in the words of Calvin Coolidge, a nation which forgets its defenders will be itself forgotten. So again, thank you for being here today to ensure that our fallen heroes continually are remembered. Thank you. So we're gonna we're gonna invite the Gold Star families to come up and say a few words about their sons. Um, and for those of you that don't know, Darren uh, is a is an alm, a fellow alma mater of mine from West Point. Darren was injured two weeks before he died. Uh, many of you don't know this, but uh, Darren refused medical treatment, and his unit was supposed to come back in roughly uh, three weeks. So he was injured uh, and had shrapnel in his leg. He taped it up. He went back to his unit and like a true warrior basically said, if they go, I go with them. They're not going without me. And he was killed two weeks before they were supposed to come home. Um, that's what Darren was about. Uh, a true loyal ranger that gave his life for our sacrifice. And he did not have to go back, but he did for his men. Mark Snyder, mother of Christopher Rinkle. of your family, please. Wendy Hines, mother of Benjamin Hines. me everyone I've never done this before I'm Caroline Gatlin Scott Green's mother who served in the Navy and where are you Jade Markle that's my niece she's here also um, I just came back from a TAP seminar in Arlington Virginia I don't know if any if all of you have heard of TAPS but they're also a great reach out point and uh, I just want to thank everybody for their service it is deeply appreciated and that I miss my son dearly Thank you.
of sirens. Yeah. Look at all those people trying to get off the highway. Uh, <laughs> the church is all lined up in the yeah.
All right, guys and gals, thank you so much for your support today. Uh, it means the world to us and their families to, to carry on their legacy. What you guys do, and Joan, please come up here. I, I would like for you to, you say it better than anyone else does, but when you say their name, say it. A veteran dies twice, or someone dies twice. First time when they take their last breath, and then final time is when their name is no longer said. We're not here to, hey, how many bikes can we get out there? How much money can we raise? It's to remember their sons, their brothers, their son-in-laws, their cousins, their uncles. Please remember to keep their legacy alive. Please you bow your heads with me. As I said earlier today, we rode today to honor these local heroes that were friends, that were brothers in arms. Please remember them. Please say their names. Never forget their names. May, the, may us have, since we've had a good ride today, uh, may us have a safe ride home. Please uh, protect all of our families and the ones of everybody that is in uniform. Please keep them in your prayers every day. Amen.